Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and also for the No Stylus podcast. And today I'm going to have another look at iBooks Author. This is going to be video 5, looking at how to add 3D objects into your iBooks application. And it's quite simple really, once you know what it is that you need to be able to do it. So first of all, let's go to our widgets at the top there, click on that and click on the 3D thing. So now we have it in our page, that's good. Let's uh, make it a bit bigger as well. So there we go, we've, got it making a, we've made it a bit bigger so it takes up the space a little bit better. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to choose for a 3D file. I'm sure I have one in there somewhere. And the sort of file that I need is one that's got a DAE suffix. Okay, chair 2, that's the one I want and I'm going to tell it to insert. There we go, so we've got, our chair, we've got a chair in there now. And again, you have the uh, titles there that you can do whatever you want with. So in the layout part of it, you can say whether you want a title, whether you want to have a caption, whether you want to have a background. We'll leave a background on there, but uh, I'm not going to have a, uh, a caption on there. That's that done. It's in. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just see what it is you have to do to get one of those DAE files. Now there's this application here called SketchUp, which I got from Google. So here's the chair that I've got in this thing here and basically what I did was to click on this get models and you can uh, find the models in here so so for instance if we wanted to put in this picture of a Bugatti a Bugatti Veyron no less I downloaded it directly into the Google SketchUp model so it's loaded it up but it's still updated the preview document so I'll wait for that to finish when it has you will see that we've got a 3D object in there that we can actually move around in 3D space there we go. Isn't that marvellous? I just picked up something from the Google 3D place where they have various models that you can download. But you can make your own, of course. Isn't that good? Quite smooth in the way that it moves. If you have something that is pretty complicated on there and you've only got the iPad 1, then you might find that it actually will only work very slowly or maybe it'll even crash the application. But that's something that you have to just test and see how it works out. And zooming into it there as well, look. How about that? Gee, you could play with that all day long, couldn't you? As the actress said to the bishop. So there you go, that's how to get your hands on Google SketchUp and how to find some models. Um, if you want to make your own models, well, you have to learn how to use SketchUp. And I think you can also use other 3D applications such as Maya. That's all for now for Mac 20 Questions, No Stylus website, chats about iBooks and how to use it. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. I have found out today that it is possible to take animations that you've made in the application called Hype and put them into iBooks and I think in the next video about iBooks that's what I'll be showing you how to do. Now if you haven't done so already go and click on the like button to like this video if you've found it any use at all and why don't you subscribe to the channel so that anytime I bring something new out you'll be the first to hear about it. Bye-bye now. Until next time.